Hindustan Aeronautics has said that it will deliver first two Tejas Mark 1A aircraft to the Air Force in February 2024, and seven more Tejas trainers by the end of March 2024. Dassault Alliance Aerospace Limited is gearing up to start the production of Falcon 2000 business jets at its Nagpur facility, and the first aircraft will roll out in early 2025. Russia has conducted a test of its Pervastnik nuclear-powered cruise missile, which can perform multiple revolutions of the Earth, and will fly under the ballistic weapon shield to hit its target. Indian firm Amber Wings has unveiled its Atwa compact hybrid vertical takeoff and landing UAV, that is able to carry 100 kg aerial cargo, and can be used for aerial imagery and surveillance missions. The Defence Procurement Board will hold a meeting tomorrow, and they are expected to clear Super Shukhoi upgrade of first 84 fighter jets, and the purchase of medium-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft for the Indian Navy and Coast Guard. BSNL has established first ever base transceiver station at forward posts of the highest battlefield in Siachen, that will extend mobile communication for the soldiers deployed at more than 15,500 feet. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh met the CEO of Safran Engines at Safran's Research and Development Centre in Paris, and Safran officials gave him a detailed briefing on its plan for collaboration with the RDO to develop an advanced 120 kN engine for India's AMCA programme, and that a roadmap for the engine project will be prepared by the two sides before the end of this year. Defence Minister also interacted with a group of CEOs of top French defence companies in Paris, including Dassault Aviation and Naval Group, and he highlighted the advantages of co-development and co-production of defence hardware in India, that could be exported to third countries. Indian Air Force officials have said, that the French Rafale American F-15EX and the Swedish Gripen are the three main contenders in the 114 MRFA program, with the front-runner being the Rafale aircraft. The Indian Air Force is also considering to eliminate both the Russian offers for Su-35 and MiG-35 from the tender, even before the request for proposal is sent to prospective original equipment manufacturers. They also said, that the Air Force is waiting for a signal from the government to move the file to the Defence Ministry, as the deal will be a strategic one, and will depend on who the Modi government wants to go ahead with. The Aeronautical Development Agency has identified key areas of technological investment for the TED-BF program, that includes condition maintenance, which is removal of an item before it fails in service, as well as exceptional low-speed control for precise flight path positioning for safe deck landings in both day or night. The TED-BF will also feature auto throttle system to reduce pilot workload during carrier approach and landing, and an automatic carrier landing system to enhance carrier-based operations. The Indian Air Force has carried out a successful test of its surface-to-surface -surface version of the BrahMos extended range missile near the eastern seaboard. The missile test was successful, and the mission achieved all its objectives. This test comes one day after the Army's test of BrahMos Extended Range Supersonic Cruise Missile. A Kerala-based innovator has secured a patent for revolutionary active protection systems for main battle tank and armoured protection carriers, that apart from protecting against ground-launched threats, has an exceptional capability to track and destroy targets with higher elevation angles, that will be valuable for countering loitering munitions and airborne threats, as they frequently employ top attack modes to target main battle tanks. Today's Top 3 Comments Thank you.